Governor Neil Abercrombie will make his first State of the State address from the House Chambers this morning at 10 o'clock. And our Mahalani Richardson is down at the State Capitol right now, and she joins us live again. Mahalani, good morning. Good morning, Kenny. Well, Republicans and Democrats will be watching this speech, and one of the Republicans who will be watching it very closely is Republican State Representative Kimberly Pine. She's also the floor leader of the House, and uh, she's also on the Economic Development Committee. Good morning, Representative, and thank you so much for joining us. Well, good morning. We're very uh, looking forward to seeing some of the details of his plan today. Now, we heard from uh, Representative, uh, I mean, former Congressman Ed Case earlier, and he said that the tone of this speech needs to inspire hope and change, but also be realistic about the financial condition of the state. What kind of tone do you think this speech will make? Well, I think we've been hearing a lot of inspirational tones from Governor Abercrombie, uh, but I think legislators on this day we really want to start getting to work, and we want to see the details behind his plan. We've been hearing a lot about bringing prisoners home uh, from the mainland, but what the Republican caucus is hearing from the people of Hawaii is they want to know is what are you going to do to create more jobs? What are you going to do to help businesses to not just survive in Hawaii, but thrive and create more jobs? And so we're really hoping to not just hear tone today, we want to hear details. Now, initially, the governor heard that the state deficit, the budget deficit, was $700 million, but now, after looking at it, he's learned that it's more than $800 million, and he won't give his complete plan to the legislature until March. Uh, what is your reaction to that? Well, I think no matter whether you're a Democrat or Republican sitting on that finance committee that day, we were very shocked. Uh, this has never been done before. The, the governor sets the tone, I guess you would say, of what the legislature is going to do in terms of the budget. And so the legislature will almost be done by the time that he gives it to us. And so what we all fear is we're going to be making these decisions and then he perhaps will come back and say he disagrees with that and we end on the end of April. So it's a little frustrating, but we certainly want to work with him. Do you think that the governor it is possible for him to end the government worker furloughs as he's promised during his campaign? Well, the Republican caucus definitely want to end furloughs, and we will work with anyone that's willing to do that. We believe that uh, this was a bad thing for Hawaii, and it, it just showed how difficult this education system is to deal with when there's so many people that are involved in the decision making. Uh, so we are hopeful and very eager to work with him to end school furloughs. Now, the governor has gotten some praise uh, from many lawmakers saying that uh, he's been more of a collaborator than Republican Governor Linda Lingle, and uh, he's also gotten praise for his out-of-the-box, thinking out-of-the-box uh, in terms of his department heads. Uh, how would you rate how he's doing right now? Well, I think he's doing a great job. Uh, I have to disagree with the legislature saying that the Governor Lingo didn't work with them. She was the most open governor that we've had in the history of the state of Hawaii. She let us know who the judiciary appointments would possibly be from the Judicial Selection Committee. She let us know who she was thinking about appointing to departments, many who have never been in government before. So I, I think that he's doing as good as she is doing, or she did, and I hope he continues it. All right, Representative Kimberly Pine, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. And again, the governor will deliver his State of the State address at 10 a.m., and KITV4 will air that live. Reporting live from the state capitol, Kenny, back to you.